Hi guys and welcome back to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe and I'm Ron. Well, if you're new, welcome and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash that subscribe button. It definitely helps the uh, channel grow and, uh, you know, I don't get paid for my videos and I don't know if that will ever happen, but if it be that as it may, I just enjoy posting videos and uh, continue on with the updates and the recipes that I do every, from time to time. Be that as it said, uh, today we're going to be making something I haven't made before. We're going to be making cottage cheese pancakes today, and I thought it'd be pretty interesting for low carb keto. Now, I've been getting a number of different YouTubers putting uh, together uh, videos for these particular um, recipe. So, what you'll need is a full fat cottage cheese. For the ratio, we're going to use one cup of cottage cheese, uh, one cup of uh, blanched almond flour, one tablespoon of bacon powder three eggs, and a little bit of um, mango uh, sweetener, probably about a tablespoon, maybe two tablespoons to sweeten it up a little bit. We're going to mix everything all up in the processor, and then we're going to let it set for a little while till it all uh, gets incorporated and settled in. And then we'll get the pancake grill out, and we're going to do the uh, frame up on the pancake grill, and then we'll come back and do a taste test. But I never had these before, and uh, they sound kind of interesting, and they do like cottage cheese. But, uh, yeah, so we're going to start making more and more recipes using cottage cheese, and uh, we'll see where it goes from there. And, like I said, we'll film it out in the front room. We'll, we'll prep everything in the back room. And uh, until I actually come back and talk about it from that point on, we'll have music, and I'll try to do a little bit better job with the music and doing the video editing in the back room that I've been doing. It takes a tremendous amount of work to video and to edit video. And, uh, you know, that course that I'm using a monthly uh, subscription over there from Adobe Premiere, it costs me 50 bucks a month. So, it's, you know, it's a very expensive process. I do use the uh, video program and my Photoshop program and other Adobe products that they use to, to do my video editing and uh, anything else I like to do with video and photographs. But, uh, yeah, so enough said of all that. So without further ado, why don't we just go right into the uh, video and uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up and I uh, hope you enjoy the video. Well, we're in the back room again, prepping for uh, uh, cottage cheese uh, pancakes. And I have both cameras going. Hopefully I'll get a good video and a good audio sound. But anyhow, um, so I'm gonna be using a food processor. And for this particular recipe, you'll need one cup of cottage cheese three eggs, large eggs at room temperature, a tablespoon of vanilla extract, a tablespoon of bacon powder, and uh, two tablespoons of uh, your choice of powdered sweetener for, uh, for low carb keto. And in addition to that, you're gonna need a cup of almond flour. And uh, so without further ado, let's just go right into the recipe. And I'm gonna crack the eggs first in a mixing bowl so I don't get any uh, shells in my uh, egg. We got one cup of almond flour. We got one cup of almond flour in our food processor. So now let's add our eggs. See, we got three eggs already been cracked. It's gonna dump that right in the uh, food processor. Gonna add our vanilla extract, bacon powder. Uh, powder swerve. Okay, now we're going to take a cup of uh, cottage cheese. It just goes right in. So this is what it looks like from that overhead angle and from the same overhead oh, angle like this, from the uh, side angle. So what I'm going to do now at this point, guys, is I'm going to go uh, put that into the food processor. I'm going to mix that up for a few. Grab a hold of my, uh, my grill, let that heat up to 350. And then I'm going to pour the batter if it's uh, liquidy, liquidy enough or at least, uh, you know, I can work with it in, in the uh, small little uh, measuring cup. And then I'm going to uh, just make our pancakes and we just, I don't know, this could be an epic uh, thing or an epic failure. We don't know. But that's the fun part about cooking. So why don't we just go right into the kitchen and go ahead and uh, get the, this all uh, mixed up and get the uh, grill out. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. And I'm going to move my mobile camera, I mean my... Uh, I have 50 camera into the kitchen, so stay tuned. Hi guys, so we're back in the uh, kitchen now. We're getting ready to uh, process the uh, ingredients to make our cottage cheese pancakes. And we're using a KitchenAid processor today, because that's what we have on hand. <laughs> I used to 
fix the data to it coming together. But I'm looking for is a nice creamy uh, batter. You can even put like uh, cinnamon in here or whatever you want in here. So that should be pretty well incorporated for what I'm looking for. Okay. Uh, then if you want, you could... So this is what our batter looks like on the inside. Now we're going to just take that and put that into a measuring cup. And let's get the uh, grill going. And then we'll show you the process of making pancakes with the uh, cottage cheese. Okay, so we got our grill heated up. So we're going to get ready to make our pancakes. And I'm going to pour the batter into a measuring cup to make it easier to pour. Batter is quite thick, so we should get some really good... The batter is quite thick, so we should get some really good pancakes out of this. I'm going to spray the top a little bit. You think I should flip it guys or you think I should wait you see how the bubbles coming around that's kind of what you're looking for I'll flip that over again. Looks like I'm going to get six pancakes out of this. The only thing that I found with the coconut flour is as opposed to the almond flour. The coconut flour doesn't, if you leave it on too long, it, the co almond flour has a tendency to burn a little bit. And I don't want burnt pancakes. I think those are ready to come off the uh, pancake grill. So I'm going to go ahead and finish the process. That's what they look like. Yeah, what I did was I took uh, one cup of almond flour, one cup of cottage cheese, three eggs at room temperature. I took uh, one tablespoon of uh, baking powder, tablespoon of vanilla extract. I took two tablespoons of powdered sweetener of swerve. And then, yeah, and I mixed it in a food processor and then I put it on the grill, heated it up to 350. And they took approximately 20 minutes to make six of them. And they were pretty good sized ones. And the batter was really, really thick. But I don't, like I said, I don't know how they're going to taste. So I'm going to put a little bit of syrup on. And I'm using the, uh, the it's, yeah, I, my preferred choice of sweetener is uh, chug zero. But I don't have any today. So we're going to use this. And that's fine for, uh, you know, because we're not going to use a lot of it. So I'm just going to uh, see if I can get a good video of me pouring this. Now, this is really comes out really have thick, so well, it actually comes out really loose. So you got to be careful. That should be good. Now, I love uh, pancakes, and I can eat them just about any time of day. You know, like I said, I don't know how they're going to taste. If I don't like them, I'll throw it out and I have something else. Look at that, guys! Huh? Look at that. Swap it all over my nice new uh, place mat. You gotta be careful not to get this on my nice white shirt. So this is from this angle. 
So this is Ron, I'm just documenting this video. This is the first time having cottage cheese pancakes and I don't know how they, I don't know. All I can do is just taste them. It's really, really good. Oh my gosh, it tastes that good. I think we might have something here, guys. Look at that. These are really great. Give me like two thumbs up. So anyways, uh, don't forget to give me a thumbs up. Like and share my video. Uh, and again, like I, I'm trying to get better filming the recipes. I prep everything in the back room and finish it up in the front room. And, you know, I got uh, apartment noise level and street noise and all that good kind of noise. But anyways, if you ever made these, let me know in a comment below the video. And again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Have an amazing day, guys.